we are trying to figure out how many five-letter strings can be formed in which the two occurrences of the letter I, or maybe that's L, I don't know what it is, are separated by at least one other letter. So here are my five letters, okay? Now, um, the only thing that I had to do by hand was figure out how many occurrences are there where the I's are next to each other. And I'm going to highlight in red. This shows you all the ones where they're next to each other. Okay, and there's four of those. This part here, what's in blue, I did that just for the heck of it. Okay, just to, to make a point. So what that represents, this represents where the eyes are not each not used not next to each other. Okay? And there were six of those. Now, what you can do is a combination of five choose two. How many ways, if I have five objects and I choose two at a time, how many different ways are there that that can occur? And if you do that, the formula is going to be the top number, which is five factorial over the bottom, which is two factorial, times five minus two factorial, okay? The formula is n choose r, and that's going to be n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial. And that is going to give you five factorial, which is five, four, three, two, one. Two factorial is just two times one, so two. Five minus two factorial is three factorial. So let's expand the five factorial. That's five times four times three factorial. I stopped there because I wanted the three factorial to cancel in the denominator. So cancel those, and then two will go into four two times. So you're left with five times two is 10. And look here, four plus six. That's what that 10 represents. That shows every way where that I can go, either next to each other or not, e not used to each other. Okay? All right, so now what? We've only, we've only worried about our I's. Now we need to worry about the D, G, and T. I'm going to go back to black. So how many ways can you do three letters? Okay, I'm going to do it like this. If you've got three letters, how many choices do I have for the first one? Three. D, G, or T. Now, you've used one of those letters. So how many choices do you have left here? Two. And that leaves one here. And we're using the fundamental counting rule, and I believe we've talked about there that if you have M ways, you can do one thing. And N ways, you can do something else. You've got a total of M times N possibilities. So that's what we have here is three times two is six. Okay, so then what we do is uh, how many ways could I do, go use the fundamental counting rule again, how many ways did I have for my eyes? Well, 10 minus four, because we have to back these out because we don't want the ones next to each other. So we have six ways to do our eyes. Oops, not sure what happened there. And six ways to do my DGT. So you multiply that together, and you get 36.